Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, thank you for kind introduction. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I would like to appreciate the organizing committee inviting me to this uh, APCIS symposium. And I would like to talk about uh, the current status of heart transplantation in Korea on behalf of the uh, Korean Society of Heart Failure. I want to start to brief uh, epidemiology of heart failure in Korea, and then I will talk about our data and the results of heart transplantation with comparing to the uh, annual data reports 2015 in the United States. This is data from the National Health Insurance System. The gross rate of heart failure is uh, 9% from 2011. And uh, from 2008, the cumulative annual gross rate of heart failure is exceed uh, ischemic heart disease and hypertension. And the prevalence of heart failure in general population in Korea continuously increasing from 2002 to 2010. In male, the 0.5% increased to 0.87%, and in female, the prevalence of heart failure is 0.96% increased, 1.25% uh, in 2010. And the prevalence of heart failure over 80s is uh, about 9% about 10%, it is 10 times when compared to them, that of uh, uh, 40 years, years old. And in the reports of core AHF uh, registry, although in hospital mortality, it's six, about 5.9%, and the annual mortality increased 9% per year. So nine, uh, the one year, uh, mortality is 18.5%, and three years, uh, the mortality is uh, 35%. So in Korea, still, the heart failure is, uh, the, the heart failure prevalence is increasing, and still the mortality, the morbidity is still high. So during the uh, 30 years, uh, the, the, during the last three uh, decades, there was enormous progress in the treatment of heart failure using a pharmacologic agent, RAS blockers, beta blockers, and then the, the electrical device such as ICD, CLT, but uh, also decreased the mortality of heart failure. Although controlled trials have, have never been uh, conducted, there is a consensus that transplantation uh, is the most effective and efficient the treatment for the end-stage heart failure with the severe symptoms, poor prognosis, and who has no remaining alternative treatment, option, treatment options. So let's move on to the current status of heart transplantation. And let me introduce the uh, heart organ allocation systems in Korea. The CONUS, Korean Network for Organ Sharing, established in 1999 at National Medical Center, and it, is, uh, it became a part of Korean uh, Center for Disease Control from uh, 2010. And the recipient status is the most important parameters to get the new heart. Its status zero is defined as LVAD, ALVAD, and ECMO with ventilator. And the status one is mechanical assisted device, uh, including IABP, and the patients who is under the unstable critical, critical conditions with severe heart failure on ventilator, and the patients who has intravenous in, uh, in inotropic injections for more than four consecutive weeks. And there is additional scoring on parameters in the same urgent status. The conditions are duration of waiting, 
blood type and the donation history of family or the relatives and the uh, reasons. The we divide in three reasons in the whole nation because the South Korea is a very small country. And the recipient age and then age difference and the weight difference. And the UNOS, the status 1A, defined as uh, total artificial heart, the patients with total artificial heart, IABP, ECMO, or mechanical ventilator for 14 days, uh, without mention, uh, and then, and then some the patients with mechanical sup uh, circulatory support, ventricular system waste, with significant complications. And the status 1B is outpatients with MCS and the continuous inotropics. It is a little bit different from our country. Okay, and then let's move to, uh, uh, okay, let me introduce the, uh, the, our outcomes data of heart transplantation. This slide shows the, by, by Dr. Aijin, the by the mid, uh, mid 80s, when the cyclosporin is, had been introduced clinically, the heart transplantation uh, increased very rapidly and it peaked uh, early 90s and decreased. And, the, and now, the, over the 4,000, uh, of heart transplantations uh, is performed uh, annually. In Korea, uh, the first heart transplantation was performed at Asam Medical Center in 1992. She was 15 years old, and she is still alive more than 23 years. By the end of 2015, total 1,136 patients received heart transplantation in Korea. Before 2000, the number of heart transplantation was less than 20. However, it increased more than 50 from 2007, and recently, the annual uh, numbers of heart transplantation in Korea is over 120. However, there is no regulations of quality control or outcome control systems by corners or government in Korea and now. So four years ago, uh, we started to make a heart transplantation registry named COTRI, uh, which was sponsored by CDC. And we collected, uh, we collected the, the, uh, the transplantation data from seven centers where the, where the more than 10 cases per year performed of heart transplantation. And by the end of uh, 2015, the total case was 1,136, and the 912 was adult cases, more than 18 years old. The median uh, follow-up duration was about 44 months. And our data was compared to UNOS data of 2012. The number of adult heart transplantation was lowest in 20 when the corners started organ sharing, and then it increased rapidly from 2003, and we, uh, we arbitrarily divided two years uh, before and uh, before and after 2000, 2007 when the ECMO and the MCS became popular in Korea, and each group. Uh, is consists of 261 patients and 651 patients. The donor, donor's AC is getting older and the sex has no difference between two periods. And this slide shows the characteristics of a recipient. And, uh, and the recipient age is getting older. The over 60, year, uh, 60 years old the, uh, the, the first period was 8.4 percent, and after 2007, it becomes 28 percent. And then the status zero and one increased over 60 in second period. 
it means that recipients are getting more urgent and in more serious conditions. Regarding the primary cause of adult heart transplantation, the, the portion of ischemic heart disease is increased. This is quite opposite to the U, uh, United States, the UNOS data. The, in UNOS data, coronary artery disease is decreasing and cardiomyopathy is increasing. In ISHLT data of uh, uh, 2015, the median survival of all median survival of adult, of adult heart transplantation is less than 11 years. But in our data from the 1992 to 2015, the median survival is 241 months. The 20.1 year is longer than uh, United States, the UNOS data. And one, one year survival it was uh, 88%, five year survival rate was 78, and the 10 year survival rate was 67. And then the survival rates between the first and the first in blue and the second period in, in green uh, were not different at the six months and the three months, uh, three years and the 10 years. As you know, that recently in uh, ISHLT data, about 50% of heart transplantation had mechanical support such as VAD and total artificial art or ECMO or other uh, uh, VAD you know, uh, for, that, uh, for the, the bridge to transplantation. So in Korea, the mechanical circulatory support is mainly PCPS or ECHO, uh, ECMO because uh, uh, it becomes popular uh, from 2007, in my hospital, more than 100 cases were performed in a year recently. And these data will be presented by uh, my colleague, Dr. Jo, at the end of this session. And in, 20, uh, in 2014, the uh, 14 cases, 56% of uh, 25 heart transplantation were bridged to transplantation by ECMO. And in our country, the implantable VAT is not reimbursed by the government insurance. Therefore, we can use ECMO, PCPS, or central VAT only. And uh, our experience of uh, impl implantable VAT is very limited. Rate of inotropics are decreasing, and the PCPS and the MCS are increasing in our data. And this pattern is uh, quite similar to UNOS data on the right. And difference are PCPS support is popular in Korea, and LVAD is main mechanical support in the United States because, as I mentioned before, the implantable VAD is not net imbursed, has, has not imbursed by the government insurance. It costs $200,000 US dollars in Korea. In UNOS data, there is no differences in survival according to the urgent status prior to uh, transplantation. In contrast, our data, the survival of status zero is worst, and the status three are the best. And the survivors of uh, mechanical circulatory support is worse than that of uh, uh, no assistant device group. And the, the survivors of inotropics is better than the ECMO and IABP in Korea. Then you know that the mechanical circulatory support is mainly uh, the uh, IABP and the ECMO in Korea. And even in UNOS data, the ECMO survival, the only survival of ECMO is the worst. So in Korea, here is four major heart transplantation centers 
who for, uh, where where the the heart transplantation performs ten cases per year. The survival of the the, the different the four major hospitals is quite different. A hospital uh, where the half of the heart transplantations is performed is the best of best survival. Especially the survivors less than one year is here. At, uh, however, the, at a hospital with MCS as a least is uh, less than uh, 8%. And the other three hospitals, the rate of mechanical assisted device applications before heart transplantation is 35 to 51%. Also, the urgency status is quite different among the hospitals. The rate of status zero in A hospital is 8%, and the other two hospitals, the status zero is over 20%. Among the patients with MCS4 bridge to transplantation, the survivors of status one looks better, but has no statistically, statistically different. The survival curves of status zero and one are quite different among four hospitals. The outcome or the quality of ECMO is quite different among hospitals. The mortality is range. The, mo the range of mortality is 20 to 50 percent. So in my, uh, in my hospital data, the survival curves of status zero and one in my, uh, I'm sorry, in my hospital data, the MCS situation before heart transplantation has no effects on the survivors. And in these slides, you can see in status one, the MCS more than nine days, longer MCS situation looks better survivors than the shorter MCS application, but it has no uh, statistical significance. In summary, in Korea, the adult heart transplantation in Korea is uh, uh, increasing, and the survival rates are improved recently compared to the uh, uh, older ones. The median survival is excellent. excellent. The median survival uh, is a two, uh, 241 month, and the recent five-year survival rate is 80% and the 10-year survival rate is 60%. The status at transplants are more severe, and the ECMO used before heart transplantation. The ECMO as bridge to transplantation is increasing. The survival rate after heart transplantation on ECMO is worse than cases without ECMO support, especially when ventilator is needed. And ECMO care is important to improve outcomes. So it is, uh, in Korea, it is time, uh, I think it is time to revise the CONUS criteria for status definition and to start registry for the control, uh, the quality control of uh, mechanical assisted device, including ECMO or VAD, and even in the heart transplantation. Thank you for your attention.